Let's get it, boy. Okay, just getting the boat rigged up. Day number two, we're headed to the boat ramp. Let's get this thing done. We're out here for day two. I uh, didn't really figure out a ton yesterday, but had something going at the end of the day where we found some fish pushing shallow. Water temps are super warm. It's like 61 degrees at the very end of the day over in a little cove we found. Um, and so that's where we're starting. There were hundreds of fish there. Unfortunately, we had to get back to the Airbnb just to get things ready for the night. But that's where we're starting. We're gonna hopefully find these fish up shallow, pushed up shallow, a little bit lower light to be able to sneak up into them and catch them without them even knowing that we're there. That happens when you have pre-spawn fish, when they first, like you get these first warm spells and you get a full moon like this, they get in kind of a funk. It's almost like post-spawn fish. Yeah, and I mean, one we're, thing, they're cruising shallow. Like yeah. you see them everywhere on the flats. But yeah, they're not very active though. You'll see them up there, but they kind of got fired up towards the end of the day, so. I think it's gonna work. Let's do it. Let's do it, send it. You gotta love it, if you know what I mean, boy. <laughs> oh yeah, started out with a little Harry Larry. Oh yeah, they're gonna be up here. Fresh and shallow, Caleb is uh, throwing that floating worm, but the big key here is using some stealth presentations, using some more finesse approaches to get these fish to come up and bite this bait. We're trying to sneak in. We started a little bit down from where we found them at the end of the day. But we're hoping if we use some sneaky sneakies, we'll get them to go. I think as the sun gets up, these fish start to get up here and actually start roaming around a little bit more. We'll have a bunch of follows, committals, hopefully, and uh, put some fish in the boat. But this is like a serene, perfect morning. Just like, this is what you look for in the springtime. Yeah. Oh my God. Look at how big this fish is. Oh my God. Look at the other one with it. Oh my god, both of those are huge, dude. That's a 12 incher. We're sitting here watching. It was so small, I couldn't even tell he was out. There's a walleye right there. Oh my god. Those were. Oh my god, eat it! Dude, I saw him and I freaking I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> freaking legend. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> so oh. How did that happen? Just didn't touch the trolling motor. <sighs> Look at that fish. Yeah, oh, just had one. That's so fat. <laughs> This too. fish is heavy dude like insanely heavy dude and it went under the boat and came out the other side and been dropped zero dude that's a four almost that's a four and a half yes. dude that fish catcher was insane we uh had been really quiet on the trailer motor basically just only hitting it to move a couple feet at a time and we had drifted over this big patch of shallow wood um and i looked over the side of the boat there were two fish both that looked like about four to five and a half six pounds well as we drifted over i had just kind of flipped my hair jig out away from the boat and i saw the fish start to turn on it and i lifted my hair jig up and tossed it back over the side of the boat like literally no more than a, a short flip off the side of the boat and as it was sinking that fish came over and smoked it and man that was unbelievable that was such a cool bite dude. it was the most perfect cast too like that fish didn't even really see it i don't think when it hit the water it was cruising that way and you literally intercepted her mouth with that isn't that nuts like you put it in her mouth and she just couldn't take it oh dude that is sweet what a way to start the day i i'm telling you so smoked. i've already had like 10 bites on a floating worm after yesterday which was just so tough Feels so good. Hair jigging it, float warming it, catching bigs. Yeah, I know. Hopefully, 
like red, but they don't. Big, whatever it is. Oh man. That's a big one. That's a big one, dude. That's a big, big one. Benjamin. Dude. No. Dude, that thing is heavy. Holy crap, Ben. Holy crap, Ben. Oh my god. Ben. Oh my god. What did you just do? Yes, dude. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. That's a whopper and a half. Yes, dude. That's, an, that's a six, right? Five and a half? Five and a half at least. High five. I think. I'll take a high five. I'll take a high five. <laughs> Ben. Oh my ben, gosh, dude. That is a monster. Oh my. Oh my. Land up. Hold him right there, Ben. Oh my land up, Benjamin. <laughs> We're going to lock this one in. That's a stud. That's a, that's a big one. Oh my god, dude. Yeah. <laughs> First sixer of the year. 6.04, dude. Let me hold this up. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> 21 it's the and same a quarter. length as mine. 21 and a quarter. Look at the girth on that fish. That's what we're after. You know what I mean? A 23 is going to be what? Seven? Mm hmm. 16. 16 and a quarter. 21 and a quarter by 16 and a quarter. It's <sighs> just like an insanely beautiful fish. You only get a couple fish like that a year. Oh. Hi, beauty. She's gone. Dude. Hell yeah. Hey, man, you see exactly where you caught that fish? On the edge. Oh, yeah, 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 I got you. Inside edge, of, Inside the edge of the point. Just like the last one right, over there. Where was the other one at? Over there? Yeah, right. Right on the inside edge before we got around the point. I gotta call dudes. Is it on? I, I caught a six. Hell yeah, dude. On a hair jig. That's a way to start the morning. Caught a four and a half and a six. The four and a half was just as equally crazy of a fish catch. Yeah. But yeah, I wanted to call you. Hell yeah, dude. That's awesome. Great way to start the day. For real. Cool, buddy. Catch him up. You too. Thanks, buddy. See you. Okay, so you know what? There's also a piece of wood right here. Yep. Two pieces of wood. Big. No, small one. <laughs> Four and a half. Good job. Yep, that's a four and a half. <sighs> There's another four and a half pounder. <laughs> Hair is the deal. Look at this. Got that hair between her teeth. I got one of those. Thanks. Yeah. So funny. Dude, that was crazy. I actually I think I felt that fish behind the bait. And it just kept reeling until it got heavy and then I just turned into it because like you know when a fish gets behind a bait or like yeah. starts to Take trail it. it funny it takes the water off it or i don't know oh i got smoked again Jesus. wow like lit it up dude and i leaned and i just missed it i just like try i think i did the same thing just pulled it away from her this hair jig is such a powerful tool and it like takes these fish and draws them from forever away for being such a small presentation and profile yeah. It really like has the drawing power of like a big glide bait for some reason. And I don't know if it's just because it's so natural and just non-obtrusive that these fish don't get scared following it. But yeah, this hair jig is just really, really a special tool this time of year when these fish get up shallow like this. Especially I think when it's low light conditions and these fish aren't spooky and haven't moved up yet. Like this is the deal. A little bit of ripple. We're in about five and a half foot of water. Pad's got a big fish on. Oh, heck yeah. Look how red that one's eyes are. Yeah, man. 
Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shoot, that's a big one. <laughs> I can't outfish you with a swim bait or a jerk bait, but I'll tell you what. Put, put a, a northern, hair on it. He put a northern technique? Time. Yeah, I don't have any, but. Man, that's a mean, that's a mean one. Oh <laughs> <laughs> that's a mean fish. What are you on, bro? Look at that Kobe eater, dude. Look at that. Look at the Feel belly. Like I mean, that's like a. Feel how heavy that fish is. It's three and a half. <laughs> that's a torpedo. Three and a half and not a big fish, but just a mean one. A little hairy, hairy Larry. Look <laughs> at build on that fish super long thanks buddy oh my god he's back on it oh stop that <laughs> eat it oh that's the game with a hair jig though is like and this just seeing them right like just seeing them and watching them try to get it but not like just follow 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 so like keep your composure that one didn't work out but leading that fish after he turns away like seeing which direction he goes and yeah, exactly. putting it back in front of him because he followed it again but no dice oh my god dude oh. yes dude <laughs> that's a fiber bro <laughs> oh my goodness that jump scared me. Dude. That jump scared me. It looked a lot bigger. I mean, that's not a small one. I was like, that might be, you know, another five and a half, six pounder. And it might be another high fours. That's a good one. I had literally just turned my GoPro off because I was had some small males committing to the bait. I mean, but they're crushing that little hair jig. It's a homemade one that I make, but there's a bunch of versions online you guys can check out. That's the deal right there. Got ourselves zeros. I'm gonna say four and three quarter. Our eyes are officially corrected. Four point eight one. Four and three quarter. Oh, beauty. Oh my god. <laughs> We're gonna have to cut your line. <laughs> it's a toad. Dude. I watched it swim over like so far away. And eat this thing. It swam like Good 10 job, feet. Good dude. That is so cool. <laughs> it's like, it's going straight at it. Wow. <laughs> that bite was sweet, dude. That was an interesting colored one. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I tried to put my rod down. Oh, I saw it. ended up hooking yours. <laughs> Good gracious, ask him all bacious. I don't know, it's huge. Oh my god, dude. Just loosen the tag a little bit. I think it is. I think it is. Okay, take this trolling motor, Caleb. Just in case it's a small ball. It is a small ball. Is it? I seriously I can't get a good look at it. It's a drum. Oh. Oh my god. No. <laughs> oh my god, dude. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, holy. I guess. I'm like, if that's a smallmouth, that is the biggest smallmouth I've ever seen. <laughs> that's what I thought, too. <laughs> it looks golden. Oh my god, let me take a picture. <laughs> Seeking bronze, baby. Good lord. Oh my lanta, that's a that's a naked jacket. <laughs> Stupid. I didn't want to say anything because I thought it was a smallmouth. It, I didn't want to say anything either because I hooked it. I'm like, God, that looked like a smallie. And if it is, it's the biggest one I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> right oh, oh, dude, I thought it was a smallmouth. <laughs> well, 
Now that everyone's like my legs are like <laughs> my legs are like shaking, man. Uh, good job. Good teamwork. Drum? Yeah. On the hair. On the hair. Oh god. A real big one. Mm, it's a big one, yeah. Look at the one with it. Oh my god. Oh, oh. My bad. I'm sorry. That's my bad. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my god. Dude, gosh. that's six pounds. That's another six or. Dude, it's got to be another six pounder. Get on up here. Dude, it's got to be set. That might. Dude, that's heavy. That might Dude. be my PB. <laughs> Good thing you put the hand, oh. the uh, wacky rig down. Oh my God, Caleb. Dude. That might oh go bigger than six. I'm four big guy. He's not six. <laughs> Look at the belly, Caleb. <laughs> it's wide. He's six. It's heavy. That's a six pounder. It's heavy. Jeebies. Zeros. Oh, oh my God, Caleb. Oh my God, Caleb. No way. <laughs> what is it? <laughs> it's a seven, seven pounder. Oh, oh my God. Look show, at show, me, show me the number real quick. Show me the number. <laughs> seven oh eight. Hold on, dude. Put him, put him on the seat. <laughs> there you go. 22. 22. 22. How fat is that fish then? I mean, we got 23s in. Oh my god. Well, that's probably why. That would do it. It's almost 17 and 17 3 8. 17 and 3 8. Wait, go back. It was 17 and 3 8. I don't think I got it around the biggest portion of that fish. 17 and a half. 17 and a half. Da, 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 da. That fish is so fat. She's not even that long, dude. What if we catch a 23 incher? <laughs> I love you, my friend. <laughs> oh. That's literally the fish of a lifetime. Yeah. For a lot of people, that's fish of three or four lifetimes. If you're a normal weekend <laughs> angler, like if you catch one of those living on this lake in a lifetime, you did something. Holy smokes. Just just feeling the llama life right now. The <laughs> Seth Fighter llama life. Oh, God. He must have, he must have like enhanced it with his llama juju. Yeah, must have been. That hook is so tiny though, Seth. It's tiny. This is a message directly. You're inside. making things scary. This is a message right to you. You scared me with your little hook. Wow, dude. She was pinned, though. I had to pop that hook out of her. It's better. I don't know. Yeah. Oh, my God. Bro. Dude. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> We've literally sat in this corner for 20 minutes, bitch. <laughs> I hooked one that big a second ago or bigger. Oh my God. All right, so we just had like the most hilarious set of circumstances here. Fishing on this point and just went like to an all time low. I just lost one of the biggest smallmouth I've ever seen. Had a hair jig with a bad hook in it and couldn't get the hook in her. Then we were dumping adrenaline because Thad here behind the camera hooked a giant fish and it looked like a smallmouth for a little while. It was fighting weird but we, we fought it out through here. It's probably about a 13 to 15 pound sheephead. So we were all just kind of like getting our knees to stop knocking from that and we drifted in real shallow and I just made a cast like a, a blind cast. You couldn't see the bottom really. Couldn't see what was going on. Not expecting to get bit and I get bit and I swing and Again, we're thinking it's a big fish, right? I wasn't super excited, but I thought it was a fiver or something. And then we get this thing in the net and it's a short fish. It's only 22 inches long, but my goodness, 
goby eater. That's the thing, like some of these smallmouth in this lake look like panfish. Ended up being my new personal best. 7.08, I can't even believe it. I caught a unicorn. This has been one of my life goals. So like I've always said, life goal all time, large mouth over 13 pounds, spotted bass between six and a half and seven, and a small mouth really between like seven and eight, hopefully over eight. Just, you know, did a milestone. I don't even know what to say. Like, Ben and I are laughing and joking right now because now we have to get serious. He's already got a six in here. We've got some other big fish. We're, we've got, I guess, right now somewhere around 27 pounds. So we actually have a shot shot because we have two fish that are over that six range to get towards 30 pounds. So that's what we're about to do. I guess that's the only other milestone that we can do for today is to go ahead and just dump 30. Maybe Ben can catch a seven now. Let's do it. Maybe my hands will stop shaking and I can actually go <laughs> cast a spinning reel real quick. <laughs> anyway, love you guys. Thanks for tuning in and I guess we'll get back to it now. I'm going to retie. <laughs> Caleb's just sitting down like, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do with my hands. Where am I? I was sitting in this chair when I hooked that fish. Wasn't I? Probably. Or did I, did I swap places with you at that point? No, you were, you were back there. Old man in it. Oh my god. <laughs> this is like, this is Jurassic Park over here. What the hell? Oh! <laughs> oh! <laughs> I like this spot. Yeah, it's probably a 35. Nice. There's a lot of big fish over here. <laughs> <laughs> you don't say. <laughs> you don't say. That was probably a 30, 35. Hey, Ben. Huh? If you know what I mean. Do you know what I mean, boy? We could not have done this today if we hadn't done what we did yesterday. Yep. Like, we hadn't gone out and checked different things and just deal with the suck and just try different things and put ourselves around different fish that had different attitudes like we would never have figured out anything to do this oh that's crazy Oh, that was sick. That was a, no, that's a big one. Wow, that's heavy, dude. That's a big feel how big that. Feel how heavy that is. <laughs> <laughs> Not on bad, but sighted her up there with two other small ones. And look how long that fish is. Holy moly. That's a big one. Let's get around the scale. Zero. Oh, yes, you will. Dude, we are we are like one fish away, Caleb. 529. Oh 529, dude. We're one yeah. fish away from a 30 pound bag. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> High five. <laughs> yeah. 529. We are so close to a dirty 30, dude. We are so close. Oh. By. Oh, dude, we're one fish away. We need like a five and a half when we're there. Let's go. I need to do some math because I didn't save it in the phone. 708, 604, 529, 481. Yeah, dude, we need a big, or we need to get rid of that four. Because we're at 23, 22 with four. What's our fifth one? Where do like, we not? Like a four and a half, I think. So we're at 27.72 essentially. Yeah, dude, because we have that seven and a six. It's 13. Plus five is five, 
20 is 1820 plus a 480 is basically having four or five pounders yeah. or four six pounders we need like a six pounder why is it so hard to get 30 man i guess getting to 30 is da pretty long. damn hard <laughs> i know i know not every day you can say that you actually had a chance you know I mean? yeah we had a shot of the 30. oh a lot of reeds up there dude days like this do not do not happen many times ever in our life yeah oh How deep? It, that fish was sitting in about four foot. Nice. God. Just blind casting the hair around. That's that's what I'm doing. Oh, dude. Dude, good for you. Congratulations. Thank you, sir. Congratulations, you. You come yeah. up for one week. And yeah, I know. <laughs> I know. I know. <laughs> Oh my god, I don't even know what to say. We're both we're all just sitting here frothing right now. We're like halfway panicked. Yeah. Congratulations, Mr. Bass Class. <laughs> Caleb C. Bass Class got him a good one. <laughs>